How's it going, people? I'm Waterfields 1. Now, there have been some truly fantastic concept designs for the PlayStation 5 released by artists and designers around the world. Now, for every good one, there's about 20 atrocious concept designs that are just embarrassing and you do question why anybody would release that to the public so I thought that's gonna make a pretty damn good video on YouTube and get me some views so let's talk about it here we go the first concept comes from Len Maros who released this on the 12th of November 2015 he was keen to get his concept for the PS5 out there in the public eye and it can only be described as it's the equivalent of a box that I would make in year six design technology I mean it, it looks dreadful let's be honest I mean he's got the logos on top of his silver box and for some reason he decided to make the circle button yellow I don't know why he did that and that's pretty much it I mean it just it just looks like something a child would make maybe he is a child I don't know but it's a real bad concept I mean it's got one comment so I think that pretty much sums it up the comments from Nara 2010 buzzer Beck and she says ah this is stupid. The next one comes from Tech Info TV. Who named his concept video PS5 Official Design Leaked. Xbox fans crying everywhere. So you know this is going to be the creme de la creme of concept designs for the PS5. And straight away, the controller looks like a baking tray in which two handles have been slapped on the edge. It, it's truly awful. I know he's going for the screen is now in the controller, like a Nintendo Switch type thing, but it's just dreadful. Like, just no. But the actual console concept, it looks pretty smart, to be fair. There's no information about features, etc. But it actually looks like it's taken inspiration from the original PlayStation with sort of the circular part in the middle. I actually think this is quite a nice design concept for the console. As long as it's got the features to go alongside, I can't really rip into this. But then, for some reason, he decides to show us the PlayStation 5 graphics, which is clearly just somebody filming themselves walking around their own house. Why you would do that, I don't know. So credit where credit's due, the console concept looks pretty good, the controller dreadful, the graphics fake. Next we have Andre Tech. Now this video has a whopping 88 views and actually I have more subscribers than this channel which is just unbelievable in its own right. Now his console does have an on button which is always a good start. It has no need for a disk drive. It looks like a prism. It has a projector on it which immediately this is terrible like it has it has a projector on the back of it which is just horrendous it then obviously shows a controller which again is very very odd looking play remotely so it means you can play on pc which is actually uh, it's a real thing now that's happening the controller doesn't look the strongest i don't know how i feel about the design it looks quite wide new action control no idea why you would need that customizable controller which again that's that's kind of cool just would it be robust enough if you were able to do that I, I don't know and considering the console doesn't need a disc drive it's still got the disc sat on the front there but there you go it's it's an all right concept that one I mean I, I I wouldn't praise it too much I don't think the actual console unit looked all that great in my opinion and again the console I think it was very very simplistic I don't quite understand why he kept the disc on top of it for, for the entire video of his concept but, but there you go that is Andre Tex one it's just it's just nothing special it just looked all right Guppy the alien brings us his DualShock 5 concept which of course will blow us away I mean look at this guy's avatar it's just awesome but anyway he is clearly just taken an Xbox controller and slapped some Sony stuff on it he's just photoshopped what can only be described as a strange looking Vita screen into the middle of the controller. He's just made an Xbox controller shaped Vita. That's what the concept is here for. Yeah, it, it, it's just not very good, is it? I mean, if this is the PS5, then I would be very, very disappointed with it. Maybe that's why his avatar looks the way it does. The final concept comes from Captain Hishiru, who's done a DualShock move, which is the PlayStation 5 controller 
controller. So another quite interesting concept. I mean, his trailer for this is actually quite good. He's done it quite professionally. I mean, he's got a little bit of a montage at the start of all the PlayStation consoles with the symbols flying across. And you're actually, I'm quite impressed with the marketing on this one. Then it actually gets to his concept design for the controller and it all goes a little bit amateurish at this point where it, it just doesn't look particularly great. And his concept is pretty much that the controller splits in half and it's like a move controller but actually it's the dual shock controller which if this was a reality then again I'd probably weep into my pillow. The comment section on this video is just pure gold and it's quite embarrassing because this video actually has more views than my entire channel. It has over half a million views the dual shock move. Half a million people have taken time out of their day to watch the Dual Shock Move trailer, and the guy has 7.1k subs as well, which again is pretty upsetting for somebody like me. But as I said, the comment section is pure gold. I mean, look at this one. Fierce Badger is clearly switched on with his comment Wow, so fake, even the controller has modes. Like, he is clearly on the money. Likewise, Mr. Rally Racer 11 Productions commented, this is fake. Like or comment on this if you agree. Like, oh my god, I'm I'm so thankful that he informed me that this is a fake commercial. I was I was completely sold on the dual shock move concept up until this point. To be honest, I feel like Arturo Maldonado do has summed up my thoughts perfectly with his comment, which is, and why the heck would you want that? There you go, that's our quick breakdown of some of the truly dreadful concept designs for the PlayStation 5, which are on YouTube at this moment in time. Now, to say they're truly dreadful is pretty harsh. One or two of them were just a bit boring, to be fair. Like, there was just nothing original or interesting about them. Some of them, arguably some of the most horrendous videos ever created on YouTube. I know that's a big, bold statement, but possibly true. If you enjoyed content like this and you want to see me do some more reviews or just trawling through YouTube for some rubbish content, then I'm happy to do it. Let me know in the comment section below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you're new around here or if you stumbled across this by accident. You may as well try, at least try and get this channel to grow. I mean, some of these people who put these videos up have over 7,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So if you could help my channel to grow, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your gaming. See you later.